let me tell you a quick story about a very deceitful hospital. The case involves the widow of a man who died from lung cancer. And all she wanted to do was get his medical records and get images of a chest x-ray because she wanted to find out why his lung cancer had not been diagnosed a year earlier when he had had a chest x-ray at this hospital. So she contacted the hospital, requested the medical records and the images from the chest x-ray, and she got totally stonewalled. The hospital said, no, you have to get these records from a company called Ciox. Huh? Who's Ciox? Well, it turns out Ciox is a company in Georgia that the hospital has a contract with and they're supposed to supply records to her. But Ciox says, uh-uh, we're not giving you the records either. So no one's giving her the records. Finally, we got the records that we needed to evaluate this widow's case from the primary care doctor. We got the records, turns out one year earlier, before the diagnosis of lung cancer, the images did show a mass. They should have diagnosed the cancer a year before they did. And the hospital and their cronies at Sachs were totally stonewalling the widow for a very good reason. They didn't want her to know that malpractice had been committed. This happens over and over again. So I'm gonna share with you three simple secrets about getting your records that the hospitals and doctors just don't want you to know. Secret number one, you are entitled to get the records in the format of your choice. What does that mean? You can get paper copies and the hospital will charge you a photocopy fee in New York, 75 cents per page, or you can get the records in digital format. That means electronic medical records. The maximum fee for electronic medical records under a federal law is $6.50. So when they call you and they tell you they're going to charge you all this money for photocopy fees, no. Insist on getting electronic medical records and pay the maximum fee of $6.50. Number two, how do you know when the hospital gives you records that they're complete? because there almost never are. The certification from the hospital that states this is a complete set of me your medical records, it's almost never accurate. How do you know if you've got everything? You do an original chart review. An original chart review is where you go to the hospital and you compare the records that you possess to the hospital's versions. And that would be done in the medical records department of the hospital. So even if you don't have the records, by New York state law and federal law, you have the right to do an original chart review where you're inspecting the records, comparing what you have to what the hospital has. That's the best and only way to know if you have a complete set of medical records. Secret number three, really important, the audit trail. The audit trail is a printout that shows the date, time, the name of the person, and every substantive change to the medical record that's been made. The audit trail is a document that is considered part of your medical records. So when you get the medical records, you should insist on seeing and getting the audit trail to know the name of the person who changed the records. So why does this matter? In some of our cases, we see that doctors or nurses will make changes to the medical records long after the medical treatment's been provided. Sometimes after a patient dies in the hospital, they're still changing the medical record. The only way to know if they've made changes to the record is by getting the audit trail. Those are three simple secrets. If you have any issues, you need our help, we're here to help you. Let's say nothing works. You file a complaint against the hospital or the doctor's office with the United States Department of Civil Rights for a violation of not providing the medical records that belong to you. If you like this video, please comment. If you comment, I'll respond to it. Subscribe to our channel, it would mean an awful lot to us. Like it, and we'll see you next time.